Population Control. This is the third part in a multi-part series called Go to Work and Give the Government Your Children, the Feminist UN Agenda 21 Plan to Empower Women. As revealed in many United Nations documents and programs, population control is to play a major role in the development of the new international economic order. In an effort to reduce the population, the Nairobi report recommends that governments allow people access to, quote, all medically approved and appropriate methods of family planning, end quote, regardless if their country has laws against certain methods, such as abortion. Though obviously alluded to, abortion is not specifically mentioned in the Agenda 21 program, and this is because of the pressure the United Nations receives on their position of population reduction. Sridath Ramphal of the Commission on Global Governance explains on page 32 of Rescue Mission, the children's edition of Agenda 21, why, in his opinion, Agenda 21, Chapter 5 on population is very weak. Quote, It happened because very powerful lobbies did not allow the summit to talk about the population. There was a coming together of views of the Vatican with the anti-abortion lobby in the U.S. and some other developed countries who did not want to talk about the other side of population, which is consumption. End quote. Abortion has been a controversial topic in the feminist movement. The aforementioned creator of second wave feminism, Betty Friedan, was a supporter of the concept that abortion is a woman's choice and even helped found the National Association for the Repeal of Abortion Laws. Friedan, later in life though, began to criticize the feminist movement for its continued heavy focus on abortion. Interestingly, Friedan, in many instances, including in her 1976 book It Changed My Life, Writings on the Women's Movement, alluded to her belief that the women's movement began to get infiltrated by government agencies like the CIA or FBI, a belief that brings us to a woman named Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem, who at one point identified as a Marxist, began to become viewed as the new leader of the women's movement in the late 1960s and 1970s, which eventually led to a popular rivalry between her and Betty Friedan. As previously mentioned, Friedan began to criticize the direction that the women's movement was going in and certain tactics that were being used. Some writers say this criticism was just the result of jealousy. But it must be remembered that Friedan stated her belief that there was significant infiltration of the women's movement by government agencies. This fact is important because the connection between Gloria Steinem and the CIA has been well documented and even admitted to by Steinem. Steinem was an early supporter of abortion, or reproductive freedom, a term she coined, and openly talks about the abortion that she had. To promote abortion, Steinem has gone as far as participating in the I Had an Abortion Project, posing with a big smile and a t-shirt that had the expression, I had an abortion. In the next part in the series, we'll be talking about how housewives are viewed in a negative light by the feminist movement. Thank you for listening. Watch the related videos and subscribe to the channel.